article that's right before October 1st, 2017, most people had never heard of a bump stock. But tragically, after 58 people were killed, hundreds more wounded, Americans demanded action. Within hours of the 1 October massacre on the Las Vegas Strip, investigators realized the gunman, Stephen Paddock, had modified his semi-automatic rifles with a bump stock. The attachment uses the rifle's recoil to allow it to fire more rapidly and behave almost like a fully automatic machine gun, giving the shooter the ability to pour 1,100 rounds on concert goers for more than 10 minutes from his hotel room across the street. The new federal policy, first initiated by President Trump last year, now clarifies machine gun guidelines. And ATF has issued a policy that would treat bump stocks just like machine guns uh, manufactured after 1986, so they're banned. David Chipman is a Giffords Law Center policy advisor and former ATF agent and says it's now unlawful to possess one. It means if they haven't destroyed them or turned them into ATF, they're in violation of a very serious federal law. So I would encourage them to act immediately. Um, it's nothing to joke about. Um, it's a 10-year federal felony. One October shooting survivor, Sue Ann Cornwell, is a strong supporter of the Second Amendment, but saw how a bump stock had a role in the horrific loss of life. I carry every single day and I think we have a right as a nation to have our weapons. Um, but I believe that, my, just my opinion, is that if you're a responsible gun owner, there, you would see that there's no need for a bump stock. But she also doubts the ban will stop someone who's determined. If people want to do something, they're set against hurting people or they're set against causing mass chaos, they're going to do it. So again, the 90-day grace period is over. It is now illegal to own a bump stock. If you have one and you need to know what to do with it, just go to our website, look for the link at news3lv.com. Reporting live from the south end of the Strip, Steve Wolford, News 3. Steve, thank you.